Are you a self-feeder or do you still need to be spoon-fed? I'm Darren Wright from 12 Church and over the last little while we've been looking at a draft missional living map which explains the process or the stages a person needs to move through from being a passive kind of consumer Christian to living actively on mission all in for Jesus. The first piece of the map is, is a launching or foundational phase. And the first step in that is to be gospel saturated. This means that any sense of guilt and law and earning our salvation by works has been replaced by grace and forgiveness and freedom. It means that we're resting in the finished work of Jesus Christ. And that shapes the way we think about life and death and everything in between. The second step in this foundational launching level is to be Christ-centered. Christ-centered. That means, of course, that you're not just a, quote, Christian, a cultural Christian, but you're actually focused on Jesus. You are following him. You are accurately described as a follower of Jesus Christ. It also means that you understand and accept that God's primary purpose for you, once you've come to that place of repenting, believing, and following Jesus, God's primary purpose is to make you like him in character. And you accept that, you're cooperating with that, that becomes your goal as well. And another layer of being Christ-centered means that you understand that all of history, the past and the present and the future, all of history can only be understood and interpreted in light of the person of Jesus Christ. He is what it's all about. The third and final piece of this first foundational level, this launching level into a life of mission, is that a person becomes self-feeding. Self-feeding. What, what exactly does that mean? Maybe it's easiest to explain it this way. If you were to quit attending church, attending any group Bible studies, and in doing so, your biblical input ceased, that would mean that you are not self-feeding. That would mean that you're living in such a way that your biblical input requires almost like a passive consumeristic posture that allows others to spoon feed you. Maybe you even left a church or complained about a church, maybe the church you're in, that you're not being fed. If you've done that, I, I just want to encourage you to, to pause this video, give yourself a slap, repent, and then come back. I'm not saying that teaching is not important or you should not insist on biblical teaching as a part of whatever church or study you are a part of. The point is that the purpose of the church, the purpose of your pastor or pastors is not to feed you. Somewhat related to this issue of being self-feeding or not is the whole milk versus meat issue where, where people often say, you know, I want the meat. And often it's kind of in contrast to what they feel like they're getting. I want the meat. I want the, the deeper stuff. And often what that means is that someone's pet theology, some esoteric secondary issue often in these days related to end times is not being addressed or talked about to the level the person wants. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 11, we have much to say about this. But it's hard to make it clear to you because you no longer try to understand. In fact, though, by this time you ought to be teachers. You need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Anyone who lives on milk, being still an infant, is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature, who by consistent use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. I once heard someone say that the meat is in the street. It's kind of a, a reaction to the complaint. They're not getting meat. The meat is in the street. The meat of the word is the thing that changes your conduct out there. The way you live, the way you think about the world, it changes it out there, not just tickles your ears while you're in church. That might have been a bit of a tangent. Let's bring it back on topic. The topic is self-feeding and it is a foundational issue when it comes to living on mission. So what exactly does it mean to be self-feeding. To be self-feeding means that you personally take in the raw word of God, reading it, reflecting on it, memorizing it, allowing it to change your thinking and change your living. Having a steady 
flow of the word, taking in the word in a steady way, allows it to kind of wash through you and flush out all of the garbage and all of the, the, the gunk that just accumulates by virtue of living in a spiritually toxic world in which we live. Self-eating may include listening to assorted Christian teachers and participating in different kinds of study groups, reading Christian books, but it necessarily includes taking in the raw word of God yourself. We are planning a complete course on self-feeding, going from you know very easy Bible reading into a little deeper kinds of study. We'll hopefully get to that before too, too long. But for now, you might want to start here. Start by regularly reading the Bible for yourself five to seven days a week. A chapter a day is a reasonable place to start. If you're a keener, you can read five Psalms, one chapter of Proverbs, and 10 chapters in the New Testament per day. And in one month, you will get through Psalms, Proverbs, and the New Testament. Or you could get a Bible reading plan that gets you through the entire Bible in a year. Or you could do what it has to be, get through the entire Bible in two years. As you read, know anything that interests you or questions that surface or things that it becomes apparent, the Holy Spirit is just driving into your heart and your mind. Be alert to verses and passages that are so significant to you personally that they really do call for some memorization. And so you might want to pause that faster reading and spend a few days just memorizing that verse or that paragraph, which then forces you to reflect on it, meditate on it, carry it with you, and allow that to work you over for a few days. Again, if you're a keener, you can do much more than a chapter a day, but a, a chapter a day is a fairly good foundational reference point. I encourage people not to get too hung up on volume, like feeling like you've got to read you know, X number of verses or chapters a day, but don't get so bogged down in one micro passage that you miss out on that steady flow of the word washing through you. It is that flow of the water of the word in the hands of the spirit that changes us, that renews our mind. Romans 12 says, don't be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How are our minds renewed? Through the living and active word of God in the hands of the spirit. Self-feeding, absolutely foundational and essential to living all in on mission with Jesus. Have you taken in the meat of the word today? Let's get after it.